All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at VeChain here and as we can see, looking as though we are getting a little bit of a potential breakout and backtest of that 023 Fibonacci level currently. You can see VeChain really it has been on a downward slope for a long, long time. Throughout this bear market really, we have been making macro lower lows and lower highs. You can see pretty clearly on the chart that that is the case. We are still making macro lower lows and lower highs in terms of this bearish trend although as we've said many many times now for the past few weeks we have started to see some signs of life for the crypto market in general haven't we you can obviously see in the case of v chain here that we have come up and made a local higher high like so which is interesting to see could make a higher high higher low higher high and break that bearish downtrend at least in this local area and we have broken out of this bear market resistance here as well Obviously, Bitcoin showing signs of life as well, breaking out of its key bear market resistances and looking pretty strong over the past month or so, which is really positive to see. It's obviously broken out of its bear market resistance as well and back tested it. So potentially could be looking at potentially some upside for a lot of cryptos over the next few months, depending on what happens in the wider economic space as well. Obviously, the world economic platform is going to have an effect on the markets as well if we do see ourselves having some more black swan events like we've been seeing recently quite a lot of then we could obviously see things continue to roll to the downside but right now if we're just taking a look at v chain from a technical perspective you can see we've had some very very bullish days actually some big green candles and big green spikes of volume on the chart which is interesting to see because v chain really hasn't had much interest and it has been trickling to the downside continuously for such a long time. It's been doing very badly against a lot of cryptos. The Bitcoin to VeChain chart, it has been losing a lot of value against Bitcoin as well. And in terms of, you know, those top altcoins, we'd say VeChain probably has been one of those top altcoins for a good while. It's really been underperforming in comparison to a lot of cryptos. Obviously, like Ethereum, Polygon, Quant, all these crypt other cryptos that we do cover quite a lot on the channel have been doing a lot, lot better in comparison to VeChain in terms of how they've been coping with this bear market. VeChain has been continuously heading to the downside. There's really not that much relief at all. So it has been nice to see it have a bit of a renaissance over the past few months. You can see here since basically the start of the new year, most cryptos have had a really decent rally to the upside, haven't they? You can see on the chart, obviously, we've talked about this ad nauseum, but we will continue to, you know, just rattle on about the technicals because they are making a difference here. You can see, obviously, we did have this range that we were in, resistance and support. We obviously broke down from there with the FTX collapse into that descending wedge. And then obviously once we broke out to the upside here, you do generally tend to see yourself coming up and retesting where the wedge was formed. So once we came back inside the, the range here, I did take a long position and take profits where that wedge was formed here. This turned out to be a good trade where I had one, two fills on it. And then obviously went up to target here. Got the overextension here breaking through the 023 and today looking like potentially we were back testing that area there i did say once we broke through this area here which seemed fairly likely considering the momentum in the markets that there was no resistance really up until the top of the range we did get a little bit of a rejection at the 023 fibonacci but looking like we have smashed through that now and really we're probably heading up to the top of the range as i said before i do have a short position idea at this level I will be taking a short position in this area if that is the case. You can see here a very strong level of resistance. And I do think we'll probably see a rejection in this area quite significantly as people take profits and probably, you know, pile on a few shorts as well, considering that we are getting quite overextended with a bit of a bearish divergence in terms of momentum and strength of the price action as well. So overall, I would say realistically, we're probably going to see ourselves getting rejected in this area. I'm going to have a short position ready here. Obviously, we could see ourselves fly to the upside like this, which would be fine. I'll have a quite a tight, tight stop loss on this if we do see ourselves getting a bit more momentum, continuation to the upside. But I do think we'll probably see a bit of a rejection here back down into this area at the middle of the range. And that is probably going to be my trade idea for the next few weeks. Depending on how things play out for VeChain over the next week or so. In my opinion, we'll probably see something like this where we head up to the upside. We'll kind of grind our way up to this resistance and then get rejected at least back down to the 023 here and then maybe back down to the middle of the range. As I said before, I will be trading this range now, now that we're back inside it until it's broken. So I will be short in the top and long in the bottom until we see a good breakout back test continuation in either direction. So 
that would be my analysis for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to join the channel as a member if you want to support the channel. It really, really helps me out, and I can continue to make more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.